Yo, what is Snap Cracklin and Popping Guys? I am here, of course, on Friday. I'm sorry I missed last week. I fucking had to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I thought I was going to have time to actually record an episode of Fusion Fridays, but I didn't get the chance to, obviously. But we are back here today for Fusion Fridays, guys. And today's going to be something a little bit different. It's going to be a Fuse Corp special, I guess you could call it. And it's going to have two, I think, that are made from fans and four that are Fuse Corp specials from uh, your boy Dragonus. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to feature him this episode. Uh, maybe sometime we'll have a cat map episode, but don't count on it. Um, I'm running low on her style of art, but I still have plenty of Dragonus, and I think he's still making quite a few, actually. Um, so to kick things off today, we're going to start with one of the ones I believe is from a fan of his, or maybe it's like a commission for that guy. I don't know, something along those lines. And it is Kingron, which is a poison steel type, Nitto King and Agron fused together, if you couldn't tell. And I think this thing looks super sick. It would be like a shiny Nitto King, I feel like, to get that coloring. But um, it's like, it looks it looks really fucking cool. And it kind of looks like it could be a poison ground type in of itself. But it, I also see the steel. Um, and it says its signature move is Tail Drill. Special ability being Aegis Plating. Um, probably ups his defense and makes it crazy. He weighs 801 and a half pounds. Boom. Boom. And... Kingron is super sick, and it's if the guy that did this is that guy, um, I'm trying. I'm losing my train of thought here. If he made it, then credit to him. I don't know if he did or not. Um, maybe I'll find out, but I don't really have time for today's episode. So if he did, all credit to whoever drew this. And if you did, and you somehow see this video, let me know, and I'll credit you. Um, no worries. <clears throat> but he probably won't watch this video. So moving on. Next fusion is going to be a double feature, and then it's going to be Dravil, Dravaglava, and Luzilia, uh, which is Quilava, Breviary, and Glaceon, and Curlia, Blaziken, and Lucario. Uh, two triple fusions, but they kind of like interlock with each other, and they're like best friends, it appears. And it's really cool. And I think I really like Glaceon and Quilava mixed together. I feel like the Braviary head kind of makes this thing a bit weird, but it can still be pulled off as like a penguin type thing. <clears throat> I guess kind of sort of, but still. And then the this one over here, the Lucario Blaziken and Curlia one, is literally fantastic. I fucking love that one so much. It is so badass looking, and it's just it's it, you can see all the components of every Pokemon. And it just looks adorable, um, you know. And I think it's freaking awesome. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Um, and Blaziken and Curlia and Lucario fuse really nicely together, and this thing is just absolutely all around adorable. I fucking love that thing to bits. Next up is gonna be Tauros, Aerodactyl, and Bastiodon fused together. This thing looks like a fucking tank. I think this thing would be a rock flying type, um, just like Aerodactyl is. Um, but you could also call it a steel type, I guess. But um, I don't really think, like the idea of triple typings, which is why I don't think fusions will ever really be a big thing in Pokemon, if you know what I mean. Um, but I really like this thing. I think it's a badass. It looks like a huge-ass fucking dinosaur, and <sighs> I think it's awesome. I think it's fantastic. Um, but I don't really know what else to say about this thing. They say his special ability is Rage Mode, which would be kind of obvious. And I believe they say his signature move would be... Um, I can't even read that. I think it says Tremor Catapult. Um, I mean, I could see that. I could see it just launching shit at you and trying to kill you. <laughs> Sorry, um... I'm losing my train of thought a lot. I don't know why. Anyway, Tauros and Aerodactyl and Bastiodon fuse really nicely together as well. Next up, it's going to be one that I think might also be from a fan, and that is Charizard, which is Haxorus and Charizard fused together. I don't know where they got the coloring idea from at all, um, but I guess purple and black makes sense. Unless maybe it's shiny Haxorus and shiny Charizard. 
That would make a little bit more sense. Um, I don't know. They say a special ability would be Whetstone, uh, Waitstone, or however they pronounce that. And a sig signature move would be Infernal Blade, which way I could see it like lighting its wings on fire and cutting you into a million pieces. God, that sounds really gruesome. Really fucking gruesome. Moving on. <laughs> Next up, this is a majestic ass looking legendary. They call it Aurelia, which and it is a fusion of Ho Oh, Latias, and Reshiram. This thing is so pretty looking, I guess. It, I know it would be like a girl uh, fusion, I guess, if that, or more of a feminine one, I should say. But I've always seen Ho Oh and Latias and Reshiram as female legendary Pokemons to begin with. If that makes any sense, like they would be more feminine. Um, but I think this thing looks fucking great, and the design on it, the pink and orange and yellow fuses so nicely together. Dragonus did such a fantastic job on this one, and I will never understand how he makes this crazy shit as good as he fucking does, because the shit he can do on a computer is shit I could, I could never do this, even if I wanted to. Never. Not in a million years I could ever make anything this good, and that's just me being completely honest with you. I, this is way out of my league, like, he is a fantastic artist, and phew, great job, great job, that's all I gotta say. Next up is what might be my favorite fusion from Dragon, if, if not, it's in my top five, and it is Metalona, and it is Swana, Matang, and Lopunny. That sounds weird if you think about it at first, but I would see this thing... Literally, it could be a triple typing, like it definitely has the far part of it, but I would say it would either be a Psychic Flying or a Steel Flying. I'd probably say Psychic Flying, only because when it has its eyes closed, it kind of looks like it has a lot of energy and power in it, if that makes any sense. And it just kind of looks like a Psychic at that point to me, anyway. But I think this thing, it looks like it has like a bladed leg almost, but I'm not exactly sure if that's what that is or not. But... It, they say a special ability is Hawkeye, which I think fits it perfectly. I don't know what Hawkeye would do, but, you know, you can use your imagination there if you want. And then, the signature move is Arrow Dive, which I can see him, like, diving down in a spiral, obviously, and just, like, drilling a hole through f some other Pokemon, and, you know, fatality. Fatality. But let me know what you think of all of these fusions, and let me know what your favorite fusion from today was. Let me know, um... Any ideas you have for fusions, or that you would like, any Pokemon that you think would be cool fused together. And if you did enjoy the episode and you did enjoy the fusions, then please do leave a like. It is uh, greatly appreciated, and I love getting support on my own custom series. It just makes me want to make them even more. Um, and I will see you guys, not this upcoming Friday, maybe this upcoming Friday I might owe it to you. If not, then I will see you the day, the week, and the week to Friday after that if I don't see you this upcoming Friday. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm The Storm, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day, or night, or morning. Peace!